another place that my guide recommends is a special beach that he claims can bring me good luck. If you come to Tinian, you have to come right here, known as Star Sand Beach. Now let me see if I can find any star-shaped granules of sand. Hey Joey, come here. Oh, right. Check this out. Right, I think this is it. Yep. Is that's it, it. Is, is that it? Yes, that's it. I, I can barely tell the difference between regular, but this it's a slight star shape. Now uh -huh. finding this, is this is this gonna bring me what? Good fortune or well luck in everything that you do, William. Luck in everything that I do. Right. So let's hope this program turns out really well. It will. Okay. It will. I think everybody's yeah. gonna have fun with it. It's a sign. It's a sign, man, I'm telling you. Okay, so what exactly is this star-shaped sand? Why is it this shape? Well, you know, some people believe that they are just microorganisms mm. that just perish, and that's just the skeletal remains of them. Oh, it's a microorganism. Right, right. Now, um, all right, great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. And uh, oh, you're hopefully man. you'll be lucky as well. Let me give you oh, let me get, some. Let me get some of your luck. And spread some luck. All right, great, great. Thank there you. There you go. So you took me out here, huh? So what's this big rock, my friend? Well, my friend, this is a very large rock. Come, come. This come. is the house of Taga. Okay, uh, he lives in the rock or around no, the rock? No, no, This is where the site of the great chief of all the Chamorros okay. uh, once stood. Now, of all the eight pillars that were there, uh, only one still remains. Wow, so a house actually used to be built on top of this pillar right yes, here. Yes, yes, an A-frame house. Let me stand next to it so you guys will have an understanding of how large this one little pillar on which the house sits is. So let's go over there and take a look. Now, I'm super excited today because another new sport I haven't tried before, and that is deep sea fishing. Now, there is a proverb in English that goes, if you give a person a fish, he'll be satisfied for one meal. If you teach a person how to fish, he'll be satisfied for his entire life. So I'm about to be satisfied for my entire life because I've never tried this lovely sport here. An expert here, uh, what's your name, sir? Vincent. Vincent. Okay, nice to meet you. So, Vincent, so I hear that you're uh, an expert in the sport of deep sea fishing. Is that correct? Yes, it's okay. Okay. Okay, we try. So, are there sharks around here? Uh, plenty, I think so. Plenty of sharks? Yeah. Hmm. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut on them back out. <laughs> no! Okay, let's go. No! <laughs> All right, let's give this a shot anyway.
in the middle of nowhere, but in this middle of nowhere place, there are many jewels on the Pacific Ocean. Uh, this sport is called trolling, right? Yeah. You know, what exactly is trolling? Uh, have you seen this, the fishing loop? Okay, this is a fishing uh, lure? When we are pulling the, the fishing line on uh -huh. the water, that's when they go slowly, uh, walking slowly. Okay, so moving the, slowly. The fishing loops uh, inside the water and then the, the bird will be... Oh, no, 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 sorry. The, the, fish, yeah, the fish will be attracted. Uh, yeah, and then the, we'll, we'll buy it. Now we'll buy it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we can catch our fish. So I'm totally excited, my first time trolling. Let's go. Yeah. Yes! There's a rainbow runner around. Right? Oh my goodness. There we go, so this is a rainbow runner. Uh, okay, now when you're out in the open ocean... Oh, there... Get back in there. Okay, when you're out in the open ocean, you're probably wondering, how do you find fish? Now, uh... We're gonna ask an expert right here. Okay, yeah. Mr. Vincent, you can see the Pacific Ocean's huge. I mean, oceans cover 70% of our planet. How do we know that there's fish in the water? Uh, we did find a bird. Okay, birds? We have a bird, they have a small fish. Okay. They have small fish, they have a big, big fish uh, like this. Okay, so what happens is you see birds, they eat small fish, which attracts larger fish. And then we have these larger fish here. Uh, I'm gonna cook one of these tonight and cook sashimi back in the hotel. So if you guys wanna try it, you guys are gonna have to come to Tinian and Saipan. So time for some sashimi, baby. This is probably a tuna fish. Is this tuna? Yeah. I believe so. My first time uh, taking a fish from the ocean. That was a little bit freaky, but very exciting. So you are going to be my dinner tonight. We're going to make sashimi. So this is great. First time many things this time on the Saipan. All that time on the open water. These are the spoils of our Pacific Ocean warfare. So I won't go hungry tonight. I think that's enough white meat to last me for about three weeks.